Hello everyone. In this session, we will continue the time response of second order system. In the last session, we finally find out the closed loop transfer function of the second order system is like this. That value is omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. This is the closed loop transfer function. So by doing the calculation, we design a second order system. So by using the design, we find out this. So here we can write from this transfer function, we will write a characteristic equation. Characteristic equation. Characteristic equation is nothing but denominator must be equal to 0. What is the denominator here? s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square is equals to 0. So that will give this equation will give poles of the system. Nothing but the poles of the system. The system it is the second order system second order system poles it will be given <clears throat> so we will find out the poles how many poles you will find out two poles you will find out first of all you can take it as s1 and second pole you will take assume as s2 the place of the poles will decide the system stability okay so if we have a two poles for example the two poles are available left off of the s plane s plane is so this is real part of s domain real and this shows imaginary okay not 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 this it is reverse actually so this is the real plane this is the imaginary plane okay so in this s plane the poles if left off of the s plane for example poles is available here left off of the s plane then left off of s plane is available s1 s2 is available then the given system is stable system the given system is stable system otherwise if these two poles are available in right side of s plane at this area right side of s plane then s1 and s2 is right hand side of s plane then the system is called unstable system so these characteristics will decide the characteristics of the poles that characteristics of the poles will decide the system stability how whenever the poles is left off of the s plane then the system is the stable whenever the poles are right half of the s plane then the system is the unstable so by using this phenomena we can decide stability of the second order system okay next we will risk we will discuss some points regarding the damping ratio what is damping ratio zeta is our damping ratio here zeta is very very important role here how if the first point if the zeta is equals to 0 no not equals to 0 zeta is less than 0 for example zeta value is low value poles will be poles on right half of s plane this zeta value will decide if the zeta is more than if the zeta is more than 0 and more than infinity then the poles lies on the left off of s plane so whenever the poles is right off of the s plane the automatically see the given system is unstable system 
whenever poles on the left half of the s plane the given system is the stable system okay. that's why zeta will be also decides the system stability it, it is stable system or unstable system will decide by the zeta that's why zeta is very important factor here so that's why second order system depends on second order system system response or second order response depends on zeta zeta will decides how the output will be given how the output will be given by the system will decide by the this damping ratio yes so once again we will look at here so if the poles are left half of s plane for example we have two poles if the left half of s plane then we can say this system is the stable system s1 and s2 and how can now you can say that that value is zeta is greater than zero if, if the for example if the poles are in the right half of s plane then system is unstable whenever the system is unstable the zeta value is less than zero zeta value is like this okay that's why zeta have very very important role so we will substitute different types of zeta values then we will look at how it will be acts so first in that first case case one if case a if zeta value is equals to zero substitute this value in the characteristic equation what is the characteristics equation characteristic equation is nothing but s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square is the characteristics equation equals to zero right so substitute in the characteristic what you will get equal to zero what you will get and you will get s square zeta will become zero and the remaining part is omega n square equal to zero from this i can write s square equal to minus omega n square so shall i write s equal to uh, i can write minus with replace with j square and omega n square then i can write s is plus or minus j omega n from this we can get two poles first pole s1 equal to plus j omega n pole and the second pole equal to minus j omega n pole so observe here generally this is the for s plane this is the real plane and this is the imaginary plane imaginary plane so look at here plus j omega n means this is the positive imaginary so maybe the pole s1 is here this is the negative imaginary maybe this is the s2 is the here so in order to place the poles in the imaginary axis that must be damping ratio must be is equals to zero so in order to poles here the damping ratio must be zero right so we can go for second case the second case is if zeta is less than zero then what happen whenever the zeta is less than zero substitute here then i can write the char characteristic equation is s square minus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square is equals to zero so if you solve this you will get two things that is s equal positive value and s equal some positive b value so generally this is a you can take a and b like that a and b so then the system will be then s equal positive a positive b real positive side look at real real positive plane this is the positive real plane s plane this is the negative real s plane right so poles will be here a and b will be available here so the poles on the left half of s plane 
poles will be right hand poles on the right hand side of s plane and uh, system is whenever the poles right hand the system is directly the unstable system we can go for the third point so the third point is simply if zeta is greater than 0 then the characteristic equation is s square plus 2 zeta omega n omega n s plus omega n square is equals to 0 if you solve this you will get two values that is you can take minus cr minus d like this minus cr minus d like this right so you can take like this plus j omega n and this is the minus j omega n all right so this is the c and d you can take minus r minus d like that so poles in the whenever you will get minus values the poles in the left half of s plane and the system is stable system is stable so that's why response is also depends on zeta but in first order system response depends on input only so so second order system that's why the second order system response always depends on the zeta always depends on the zeta that's why it is zeta is very very important role here but in case of for example if in case of it is in but in what about first order system in first order system uh, response depends input only response depends input but second order system response depends input as well as zeta that's why damping ratio is very 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 important role in the second order systems okay so this is about the continuation part of the time response of second order system and regarding the damping ratio i hope all of you understand the session thank you